Well, let's get some reaction from the US on the situation in Greece. We're joined from Washington by Professor Peter Morisi of the University of Maryland. He's a former chief economist at the US International Trade Commission. Thanks for talking to BBC Newsday. Now, this is, of course, giving the Eurozone a bit of breathing space, but this is just a short-term fix, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, these uh, budget cuts will raise some money er initially, but the tax increases will essentially cause Greece to grow slower, so there'll be less tax revenue to service debt out in time. Also, the debt relief it will get from the rollovers and restructuring is simply not enough. Greece is a functionally insolvent country, and it's foolish for us to pretend that this is a solution. Now, of course, there is continued nervousness that Greece might default, but does that really affect the United States? Because following stress tests, it shows that your banks aren't that exposed to what's happening in Europe. Well, we're not exposed that much to Greece, but if you start to add up uh, what could happen if Spain and Portugal went out, it's not the money that our banks have loaned those countries, but rather the swaps they've written, the insurance contracts they've written on their debt. Moreover, if those countries start to fail, a lot of scrutiny is going to come to bear on U.S. debt. Our states, California, Illinois, Pennsylvania, all in trouble. My state where I teach, Maryland, could be in trouble. And the U.S. government itself. So what's the solution then? Does the EU and the IMF keep bailing out Greece? Do, we, uh, Greece? Do we just keep on finding money to help them out? I think we need to recognize the euro is a failure uh, as far as Greece goes. Y Greece should really leave the eurozone, stay in the European community, but remark its debt to drachma and let uh, its currency fall in value, frankly, and have that cut its payments and at the same time make its exports more competitive and permit it to grow more rapidly. At the end of the day, creditors would take less of a haircut that way. Papandreos has given the Greek people a false choice. Bankruptcy or, or, or austerity, wrong. If they leave the Eurozone, they can escape this hair shirt. But instead, Papandreos is more loyal to Brussels than he is to the people of Athens, I'm afraid. But is really bringing the drachma going to improve the situation? Because the Greek economy, the exports, uh, does, don't really make up that much of its GDP. So it won't make such a big difference if the exports are strong. Well, at the end of the day, the Greeks have to pay their debts off to foreigners who owe the money. So they have to generate euros through exports one way or another. If they adopted the drachma, uh, and let the currency fall in value and remark the debt to drachma, it would reduce the value of the debt they had to pay back, which would be a haircut. But at the same time, it would generate more export revenues so they'd have more money to, to pay their debts. They're very much in a situation where the euro is undervalued for Germany, so it prospers like the Dickens, and it's overvalued for Greece, so they suffer. This is very much like the transfer problem the Germans faced after World War I when they had to pay reparations. This is a very unfair punishment on the Greek people. Professor Peter Morisi of the University of Maryland, it was good to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Nice to be with you.